Oh no, whoa, 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 What's, what are those tools for? So you guys came. Who wants the grand tour? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants a psychiatrist? What is with you guys? Keep the former back in the building for yet another movie reaction. Guys, today we're watching Galaxy Quest from 1999. For the longest time, I did not know what to make of this movie. I still don't really know what to make of this movie. <laughs> Galaxy Quest. It sounds like some cheesy arcade game from the 90s. However, for a while now, a lot of people have been telling me that they love this movie. That it's actually really funny. Um... I actually just kind of looked down at the cast list. I did not know Sigourney Weaver was starring in this. By her most famous film series being a sci-fi film series, I did not see her starring in something like this, which is very interesting to me. Um, and then there's Tim Allen, which is an actor that I feel like I've seen a bunch since I was a kid, but I don't know anything else he's been in outside of like, there was this, only thing I think of is this one movie he was like, um, Santa Claus then he was like like he inherited being Santa Claus I remember seeing that as a kid and then of course uh, his show Home Improvement which is something I never took to when I was a kid but and of course it's Alan Rickman rest in peace um, which is also gonna be very interesting I've always I feel like I've enjoyed every movie I've seen Alan Rickman in but like I said man I don't know what to make of this uh, it looks very different <laughs> I feel like it's going to be some type of like spoof off of uh, Star Trek, which is also something that I haven't really got into. Um, it's on my to-do list, though. I feel like it's something that I have to give a shot. But enough speculating. We're going to get right into it. But before we do, hit the like and subscribe button for your boy. Following through action to this and many others will be up on the Patreon without further ado. Let's, let's do what it do. Grub thaws, how we live to tell the tale. Systems registered functional. All systems are working, <laughs> I don't like it. It's too easy. All right, that is definitely not Ripley. Maybe our only option. No, never give up, never surrender. Where the hell is he? An hour and a half late? An hour and a half. I was an actor once. Damn it, now look at me. Look at me! <laughs> I can't go out there and I won't say that stupid line one more time. Am I too late for Alexander's panic attack? <laughs> Apparently not. Okay! Yeah! Here we go! It's getting hotter, Commander. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's getting hotter, Commander. What do they do to our girl? My grandpa's hammer, you shall be avenged. Yeah. <laughs> that was a line? <laughs> was it so bad? The commander and his crew will be signing autographs on Imperial Decks. By Grabthar's hammer, by the sons of Warbane, <laughs> I shall avenge you. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Oh my god, what a grouch. I feel like this is the role that made them cast him as Snape in Harry Potter. I got the feeling that you and the commander kind of had a thing. Did you? No, the commander and I never had a thing. Well, that's her story. <laughs> you gotta play it up for the fans, man. We are Thermians from the Klaatu Nebula and we need your help. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shoot, that's Dwight. <laughs> Perfect casting. It was cute when I didn't know you. <laughs> Damn. Out Nesmith, he actually oh, gets yeah. off on those thinking he's a space cat. Aw, come on, man. I know, they can't stand him. But he has no idea he's a laughing stock, even to his buddies. It's pathetic. <laughs> Why do people always overhear people talking about them in the bathroom? Why is that always like <laughs> the cliche? Right, but because we were wondering if the quantum flux, and I just listen on this. There, there is no quantum flux. There's no auxiliary. There's no goddamn shit. <laughs> you got it? It's real to them, man. 
And also, also, they pay your bills. There. This fine ship, this fine ship, crew. this fine crew. Never give up. Never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> Are they supposed to be at his house like this? Oh, yeah. I should come to my house. Yes, I beg you to hear our plea. We are Thermians from the uh, Clatu Nebula. <laughs> our people are being systematically hunted and slaughtered by Rathar. Yo, how long do they keep that damn costume on? Please, Commander, you are our last hope. <laughs> I must say that standing here in your presence is the greatest honor we could ever have hoped oh to achieve God. in our lifetimes. I would like to explain the history between our people and the Saras Dominion in greater detail. <laughs> in the f oh, he doesn't mind the female one. <laughs> Her translator is broken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she ruined it. She looks so familiar too. I know the actress. I just don't know her name. And it was in this time of dissension. Oh, okay. <laughs> that. Oh, don't tell me these guys are like real aliens. I'm sorry to wake you, sir, but your presence is requested on. Her translator is fixed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got the picture. Do, do you have pages, or do you just want me to wing this? I am not sure I understand you. Commander, welcome to the Protector Two. They bring a new commander. It's good. Here it's good. are I mean, my you know, it looks... commands, and if I do not hear what I like, real. the technician. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Uh, let's fire blue particle cannons full red particle cannons. You, you have saved our people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. You, know, you kids have been great. Oh. <laughs> that has to be. <laughs> My man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Just let him go like that. No context. On a side note, that has to be one of the most creative portrayals of space travel I've seen in the movies. By Grabthar's hammer. <laughs> what a savings. <laughs> okay, it's not a bad line, man. All right. If you say it with no enthusiasm, it's going to sound lame. Remember yesterday at the convention? Those people dressed like aliens? They were aliens. They were termites or, or Dalmatians. I can't really remember because I was kind of over. <laughs> Space on those? Protector, this is the commander. Over? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> huh? <laughs> they want me back. You want me back. <laughs> this is amazing. They want me back and I want you guys to go with me, please. They're so goofy, man. I can't, I can't take it. Yes! I mean, who knows the next time he'll ask us. Fred, he was drunk. You really think he was talking about a job? Protector, requesting four interstellar... Uh, me too. Five pods for immediate departure. <laughs> Who was that guy? Oh, the guy that was in episode two that one time? <laughs> it must be cold in there, man. <laughs> Everybody comes out shivering. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's, what are those tools for? He forgot about our appearance generators. <laughs> You guys came. Who wants the grand tour? <laughs> Who wants a psychiatrist? What's wrong with them? I don't know. Come on. <laughs> That's right, guys. Just keep shaking. On behalf of all my people, I wish to thank you from the deepest place in our hearts. Mathazar, this is. Uh... You know us? <laughs> no, no. I don't believe there is a man, woman, or child on my planet who does not. In fact, all you see around you has been taken from the lessons garnered from the historical documents. Is this a... It's real. <laughs> Say the word, we'll go home. Pay our bills, feed our fish, fall asleep in front of the TV, and miss out on all of this. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I'm just jealous about being on the show, man. <laughs> what the hell, man? Commander, some of the crew has requested to be present at this historic event. <laughs> no pressure, huh? I'm glad I ain't the commander. <laughs> okay, I don't really like how much they're outnumbered.
Oh, okay. Bear right, bear right. right. Mm, right. <laughs> Would you sit your ass down? Move. You wanna drive this thing? <laughs> Damn, man, it's like the longest scrape. All right, they're good. They'll buff out those scratches later. Are what you enjoying the your hell? hot blood ticks, Doctor Lazarus? Just like Mother used to me. They didn't get to that season yet. Oh, your Mega Thirteen device. We found that on an alien planet. We don't know what it does either. I am sorry, you deserve to be shown. The tape was smuggled off of Saris's ship. <laughs> oh, now they want to bail? Come on, come on a minute. Just can't leave. Give me some time to think. Oh, got to real for y'all? Yes, sir, he's here now. Your presence is required on the command deck. What? <laughs> Just a misunderstanding. Deliver the device to me, or I will. Yo, Cersei's costume your... is actually really impressive. I like you it. You know, um, be back on with it. Well, I'm trying to tell you, you are back. Perhaps <laughs> I'm not as stupid as I am ugly, Commander. <laughs> what an idiot. A little present for you, Commander. Move us, go. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Listen, they're they're telling me the uh the, the, the generator <laughs> why, why are you so the lax, ship man? Is breaking apart and all that. <laughs> I like this guy. This is the Tothian minefield left standing from the Great War of 12185. Oh. How the ship still standing, man? You forward, sir. Well, that went bad to worse. <laughs> Come on, man. Forward thruster shaft, 87% damage. Computer, what about the engines? Why don't we have power? You broke the ship. You broke the bloody ship. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Computer, is there a, a replacement beryllium sphere? Surely you don't think that Gilligan's Island is a... Mm -hmm. oh. Those poor... <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> But if you are saying that any of you could have traits in common with Ceres, <laughs> and we might be able to get there if we reconfigure the solar matrix. That's, that's right again. That's come on, group hug. I love this guy, man. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. I changed my mind, I want to go back. <laughs> After the fuss you made about getting left behind. Bobby! 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 Are we there yet? Bobby! Bobby! Oh my god. Hey, don't open that! It's an alien planet! Is there air? You don't know! <laughs> hey man, hey man, the chill guy says it's okay. It's okay. Seems okay. That way. Holding it upside down. Shut up. <laughs> you know, that makeup and stuff. I actually thought you were smart for a second. Could they be the miners? Oh, sure. I mean, they're like three years old. <laughs> miners, not miners. <laughs> you lost me. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> 
I knew it. It's no. just a rough plan, guy. What difference does it make if it's episode 81 or not? Because I died in episode 81. <laughs> I'll do my hands like this. And I'll... Cool, cool. What are you, an infant? Look, we have these. Never surrender. Oh, oh shut up. up. Oh, oh, Jason! The camera is down, son of Jason! Oh, you've got to be the hero, haven't you? Haven't forbid anybody else gets the spotlight. Oh, no, Jason Nesbitt. Oh. Of course, it's always about you. <laughs> What's up with this guy, man? Oh no! Damn! That escalated quickly. Thank God. Are you okay? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I've got Grignac staring me in the face right now. Theoretically, the mechanism is fully operational. However, it was built to accommodate your hmm, anatomy, not ours. It's very exciting to watch the master at the controls. The operation of the conveyor is much more hmm, art than science. Stand back, Jason. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Maybe because I wasn't. You are that you guy. Never forgot a line. You never... No doubt about it, Fred. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> I knew somebody was gonna fall for her, man. <laughs> I'm happy it was Fred. So you managed to get your shirt off. <laughs> we'll crank this sucker up. You can drop us off, and you guys can be back in your home planet before supper. Oh no, sir. We have no reason to go back. <laughs> At every turn, you demonstrate the necessity for your extermination. Leave him alone. Damn. I don't know. A booby trap. I don't know. Gwen, show him the historical documents. <laughs> <laughs> we lied. Oh. Yes. <laughs> you understand that, don't you? Our brilliant sphere is, is wire with plaster around it. <laughs> oh, man. This is actually really sad. Lave, open an oxygen seal on level C. <laughs> Let the air in a bit for our friends. Son of a... Damn, man. Yo, Sars is actually like a really, like, good villain. <laughs> Hundreds to die just because of you. I told you to shut up. Both of you, get in there. Hundreds to die just because you. <laughs> okay, so Sars is badass, but his henchmen, not so much. Look. Oh, no. They're suffocating. Oh, SARS for some playing, man. Core implosion estimated in seven minutes. Well, I hate to break it to you, Jason, but I don't know how to shut down a neutron reactor unless you took a learning annex course. I Brandon? Brandon, I remember you from the convention, right? You asked all those little technical questions about the ship. It's all real. Oh my God, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> Crew and I are in a lot of trouble. What are you doing up there? <laughs> I avoided capture by using your Mokhtar stealth haze. Hi, Brandon. No time for pleasantries, Kyle. We have a level five emergency. You still got the utility systems walked through, right? Command crew have escaped custody. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Brandon. Why 13 seconds? That's really not enough time to do anything of any importance. It'd be time to redeem a single mistake. Plucky? Oh, besides, <laughs> I just had this really interesting idea. <laughs> Are you stoned? <laughs> Yo, I've been, I've been wondering that this whole movie. <laughs> well, screw that! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Alright, I, I, she has a point. What the hell was that even for? <laughs> oh my god. Fred for the win again. Go ahead, Fred. <laughs> Go get your girlfriend. Oh, I was just about to say, isn't she really like an octopus squid monster? <laughs> he likes it. He's into it. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, that's it could not happen. Right. <laughs> no. Hey, don't be jealous. Sir, the pressure. Commander Taggart has saved us. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Give him his flowers. Oh. I'm, I'm shot. Yo, that's not right. All of a sudden, now they got aim. That's not too bad. We'll get you to the medical quarters. Yeah, it's right? not too bad. Just straight to the heart. You shall be avenged. Damn, it's bare heads. Brandon, it's not working. Brandon! <laughs> Mother, I can't Come stress on, Brandon. Hurry up. Oh. Take out that trash, Brandon. It always stops at one on the show. <laughs> um, what were you saying? <laughs> sir! Why, sir? Why is there soup down? <laughs> Listen to me. It's okay. There's a little mask on his head. It's all ripped off. We gotta go. Into the field. Go. Get back on that tail. I can't, sir. What? Why not? Because they're coming right at us. If you are counting on me to blink, then you are making a deadly mistake. <laughs> I believe it, man. Tell you something, Saris. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> they really did it. As big as this, a very clever deception indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it when they laugh, man. Just go with it, man. Don't don't tell them any different. Mathazar, I think your people have a great command. Wait a minute, who's that? Fred? <laughs> I can't be. I knew it. Ah, oh, I knew it. <laughs> I knew Sar was gonna go out like that. I told you. I told you he was a real villain. He's a real one. My man is worse than Thanos. Take him out, take him out. <laughs> well, explain first, man. Come on. Never give up, never will surrender. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Jason! Jason! I thought they were going to mess up again. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs> She's spoken for, Mathazar. <laughs> Hope you guys didn't have anything going on. We're gonna help Laredo guide it on the Vox social frequency carrier and use Roman candles for visual confirmation. Uh, all right, dinner's at seven. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> well, on the plus side, the fans are gonna love it. <laughs> and a friend, <laughs> and a friend. 
<laughs> More than a friend. Oh, wait a minute. Who the hell? <laughs> he even did the roll. <laughs> <laughs> this would actually be super sick if they did something like this at an actual convention. And now, back again after 18 years. <laughs> of course. Adventures of Galaxy Quest. <laughs> a reboot. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, they got him back. <laughs> so wait, so, so wait, they're filming from the real ship now? Oh my god. That was fun. This was fun as hell. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Bro, I love being surprised, man. I love being surprised by these movies that just initially seem just completely out there. Like, something I wouldn't normally pick up and watch, but then you pick it up and you watch it and it just it blows you away. This is one of those movies. Galaxy Quest. And again, with a title that would completely mislead you into believing it was a, a computer game for Windows 95 or something. But no, man, it was fun, man. Uh, it was cleverly written. All the characters were fun. Um, Tim Allen was cool in this. Um, didn't really expect that. Uh, Sigourney Weaver uh, was also good in this. I didn't really know if she could be... Uh, uh, a comedy actor as well. Alan Rickman, great in this. Uh, like I said in the beginning, uh, I don't think I've seen him in anything that I don't like him in. And this is, this definitely wasn't an exception. But the guy that played Fred, he's an actor I don't think I've seen around before, but he was definitely my standout favorite character. He was awesome. He was amazing. Um, the alien chick that he got at the end was amazing as well. I've seen her a lot in a lot of movies. I feel like she does a lot of like comedy stuff. Um, but she was funny. All those alien guys were amazing. Uh, they totally committed to being just the most weirdest, awkward alien type people ever. And it was great. It worked perfect for the movie. Kid that saved them at the end, um, where they're talking over that device. Um, I've seen him around a lot. I don't think I've seen him in a movie this young, though. Um, he was also very good in this. And Saurus, man, the villain in this. Uh, I was impressed with a lot about the villain. Um, I mean, being a comedy movie like this, I didn't expect him to go so hard with uh, the villainy. You know what I mean? He, he, was, he was very convincing and fun uh, at the same time. And his costume, costume-wise, I really liked it. I really liked the... Uh, the practical costume that he got it was it looked great actually i feel like when this movie came out in 99 it was right in between the time when they were trying to push a lot of movies into using cg for like everything um and but still using some practical effects uh like they had some pretty good practical effects with whatever they called it the pick thing and and they it brought it back and it was all like inside out uh, and it just exploded like that was great great work of practical effects that was like peak like 80s the thing um the fly type but then they also use good cg with like the spaceship and like those small baby creatures with the teeth um so you know you got the best of both worlds there either way man this was great this is definitely within the vein of like like 90s type comedies that i really like where they're fun you don't have to think a whole lot but you just sit back enjoy it you know it's it's it sounds like nothing but it's like it's definitely like a lost art today you know you don't get a lot of movies like galaxy quest anymore today but either way man i appreciated this man guys let me know your thoughts on this movie in the comment section below don't forget to like this video subscribe and catch you guys in the next one peace
up and I want some. And I spy with my little eye. Two turntables, spin a record so fly. Fly like an eagle or soar like a pigeon. Lay it on, think I'll give you just a smidgen. A little devil do you, all you have to do is listen. Music be the movement, everybody on a mission. And I want some, and I spy with my little eye. Two turntables, spin a record so fly. Fly like an eagle or soar like a pigeon. Lay it on, think I'll give you just a smidgen. A little devil do you, all you have to do is listen. Music be the movement, everybody on a mission. And I want some, and I spy with my little eye. Two turntables, spin a record so fly. Fly like an eagle or soar like a pigeon. Lay it on, think I'll give you just a smidgen. A little devil do you, all you have to do is listen. Music be the movement, everybody on a mission.